Okay, uh, good morning, greetings. Uh, bueno, good morning for the ones in California. Good afternoon from the one in, in Puerto Rico and also in the East Coast. Uh, greetings uh, to all. Thank you for accepting the invitation to this webinar that will be in English. And the title is How Does the Peterson Test and Career Prep Can Take Your Goals to the Next Level? Through this webinar, as you may see in the promotion that we sent, you will learn how to access the own of online student support services that HEADS offers free of charge. But first, for those who doesn't know about HEADS, HEADS stands for Hispanic Education and Technology Services. And we are the first bilingual consortium dedicated to serving the higher education needs of the fast growing Hispanic communities. We were established in, 99, in the year 1993 and we serve institutions located in Puerto Rico where our headquarters is located. Also in the US and in Latin America, we have one member in Col Colombia and in Mexico. And our mission is to promote, support and increase the capabilities of member institutions like yours in order to enhance Hispanic Latino student success and opportunities in higher education. However, although our mission is focused on Hispanic, we always emphasize that our services are for everyone, you know, for all students in all different uh, institutions that are joining us today. Today, a, one of our Puerto Rican ambassador, student ambassador, Himaris Santiago, will do a live demonstration on how to access the Peterson test and career prep. And these services are available from uh, our student placita in our website, that is uh, heads.org. And those are part of the benefits to our member institutions in Puerto Rico, United States, and Latin America. And although, and I would like to emphasize again that all these services are totally free of charge for all of you. Today, we have more than 90 uh, participants registered. We already have 43 uh, uh, connected with us. And those part, uh, participants are from more than 20 institutions in Puerto Rico and also in the US. And I want to highlight the ones in the US since we have new uh, member institution joining us uh, in this webinar for the first time, like Beausier Parish Community College in Louisiana. We also have Baton Roach Community College, also in Louisiana. We have from California State University in San Bernardino. We also have uh, from Delgado Community College in Louisiana. We have from Fletcher Community College, also in Louisiana and Delta Community College there uh, again. And we have for, uh, participants from New Jersey, City University, North Shore Technical Community College in Louisiana, and Palm Beach State College, and River Parish Community College in Louisiana as well. Since we have a system in Louisiana that is a member of HEADS, and all these institutions are, are members of HEADS as well. So greetings to all. We hope that this webinar will be a great benefit to everyone. We also want to uh, uh, emphasize that we have a very nice group from people uh, in our member institution in Puerto Rico, like Ana Gemendez, Interamerican University, EDP University, Alviso University, Atenas College, uh, Nuke University, and Universidad de Puerto Rico in different campuses. Uh, so thank you all for being here. Before we begin, uh, remember that for this webinar, or, or the ones who enter earlier, you see that for this uh, for this semester, we made the welcome a welcome presentation with the announcements and promotions of the coming webinars to dedicate it the most time to the topic that we will be talking today. But we just want to highlight that the next webinar will be next Friday, and here is the promotion that will, this will be in Spanish and will be at 10 a.m. Uh, Puerto Rico time, uh, oh, it's AEST, but it's EAST, EST. Uh, sorry for the typo, it's Eastern time, okay? And that will be in Spanish, and the title is Revisando Mi Proyecto de Vida, Ser, Hacer y Tener, uh, with Dr. Joe Diaz. Again, it's going to be at 10 a.m. Eastern time. 
Okay, and we welcome also, we want to welcome and highlight that among us, we have Dr. Karen Rivera. She is the head student services consultant. Uh, well, uh, Karen, if you are there so people can see you and say hi. I don't know if she has problems with the internet, it could be possible, but she will be with joining us. And also we have Jelixa Castro, Jelixa. She is our head executive assistant who help us coordinate these webinars and promote them so you can take advantage of these services. Jelisa, you want to say hi so people know who are you? Hi, welcome everyone. Oh, thank you. And I saw Karen already. Karen, if you want to say hi so people know who you are. Hi, good morning or good afternoon. Yes, again, uh, we want uh, again, we want to emphasize that these sessions uh, or the, the purpose of this session is to clarify your doubts. So please use the chat uh, to write your doubts or write your doubts or questions. And we ask you to keep your microphones on mute to avoid any interruptions since this webinar is being recorded for your further reference. And the recording can be found during, during the afternoon on the same page you register at the bottom. You will see all the different recordings of the prior webinars that we have held. And, uh, and those who do not have access, uh, do, do not know the access code for your institution to access these databases that uh, very soon Hilmaris will be presenting live today, sharing with you. Please uh, put the name of the, your institution in the chat and either Karen or Jelixa will be giving you the code in a private message to you. So pay attention to the chat uh, because each institution have their own uh, a code and we want you to, uh, first of all, clarify your doubts and second of all, no, which is uh, the, the, the code of your institution. So you can definitely go ahead and start using these services if this is the first time you use it, okay? Finally, as a recognized organization, we offer certificates of participation for those interested in obtaining a certificate from this webinar. Please send us an email to info at heads.com org within a period of seven uh, seven days from this uh, friday to next friday we will be receiving these emails and then the week after we will be sending all the certificates to everyone okay certificate uh, remember to include in that email the date and the title of the webinar and also your full name okay and certificates will be only sent to those who meet the requirements, okay? So send us an email at info at heads.org and Jelixa, if you can put, please uh, put that information in the chat, it will be great, the, the email. Uh, and also at the end of the, my last announcements, at the end of this uh, webinar, you will be receiving by email a link to help us evaluate this webinar and also help us identify the services that are more useful for you and, uh, and the, the most eff effective ways uh, to promote those services so not only you but also your peers can benefit from this. So please help us. Your recommendations and feedback is very valuable and important for us. Okay, now we're ready to start the live demonstration of the databases but first I would like to formally introduce, introduce or present our student ambassador who is the protagonist of several of the tutorials that we have recorded to explain and our, uh, those, those tutorials are on the, on the pages that you will see very soon on our website. And she is a devoted head collaborator of the ambassador program since like two years now or three, I guess. I'm not sure I, lo I lose track of time. But Hilmari eh, eh, Santiago, of course, her, her fifth year of the University, University of Puerto Rico in Bayamón, where she is uh, finishing the, her degrees a bachelor's degree in human biology. Hilmari has been distinguished student by serving as a tutor to elementary school uh, students, being an honor roll student throughout her bachelor's degree and was select, 
accepted as a distinguished woman uh, in the university's history. She is currently a member of various, uh, various, excuse me, student organizations, but her main participation is with the American Medical Student Association, organization which she has been president for the past three consecutive year at her campus, uh, 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 on the institution. And she also volunteer work, uh, does volunteer work for various uh, nonprofit organizations, uh, including MD8 in Puerto Rico, Susan G. Komen, and others. And her goal is to enter medical school once she finishes her bachelor's degree in hopes of becoming an orthopedic pedi pediatrician. So Hilmaris, thank you again for accepting this invitation. She's always say yes when she when when we ask her to help us presenting these services because who better than a student to present to other students since definitely you know better than us uh, your needs Bella, and you identify more with a student and she has been using these services a lot and she will be explaining uh, more please we will be paying attention to the chat uh, uh, Karen, Jelixa, uh, myself and also Stephanie I, Stephanie say hi I forgot to mention you so sorry my apologies Stephanie uh, Perez is our coordinator of social media and marketing. Stephanie, if you're there, I don't know if you. Yes, I uh, am. Hi, ah, everybody. Okay. Hi, everybody. Excellent. I hope you harness all this knowledge that Ilmaris will share with you. So okay. enjoy. Thank you so much. So uh, I'm going to put my microphone in mute and, and I will be paying attention. If you need something uh, to clarify or go back to anything, please put it in the chat and we will interrupt Hilmaris in order to, to uh, ask her to do that. Okay, so thank you so much. Go ahead, Hilmaris. Hi, everyone. Thank you for the introduction, Joelkis. And good morning and good afternoon. We have people from all over. As uh, she mentioned, I am the student ambassador for the University of Puerto Rico at Bayamon, and I will be showing you the tools that HEADS has available at their website, which is also their main database for everything. And it's wonderful, it's a lot, so I hope I'm here to clarify all your doubts. I am sorry if I'm looking up, but my camera is lower than my screen, so I'm not crazy, I'm just looking to uh, both sides. Let's share my screen over here. So you look, our journey. You look fine. Don't worry. Go ahead. You look <laughs> fine. <laughs> Go ahead. Our our journey into the heads databases begin here in our main webpage, which is heads.org. And you will, this is our main page. You will see announcements and new webinars and everything. It's all presented here. It's very easy to find. So to find the main databases, I will be talking about the Pearson's Career Prep and the testing. I, if I refer to it as Turk, that was its previous name, just in case. But to begin, we go to our top menu over here and we go to the virtual plaza option, Student Placita. Here, the Student Placita, you will find all of the tools and resources that HEADS has available for you guys. If you ever forget how to access any of these or just what they include, they have their guides in English and in Spanish that you can print out. So let's begin with Pearson's test prep, which is you will find everything from call, um, scholarship searches, uh, test prep and practice. So again, once you enter this page, you have the guide in Spanish and in English, if you ever forget how to access it. And the, the, uh, huh, I forgot the word, uh, video tutorials in both in English and in Spanish. Let's, let me move my camera from here, okay. So yeah, and let me ask, emphasize, uh, Hilmari, sorry, I interrupt. I'm putting in the chat the step number one, go to head, step number two, so you can follow and if you're writing better. And the tutorials are um, uh, per topic. So everything that you have there, you're going to find it in the databases. But we broke it down in different topics, so you can 
voila, go deep and, and, and see how to, if you want to do the test or you want to do the search for scholarship, you can go and, and click so you don't have to hear the whole tutorial to find out exactly what you want. Okay, so go ahead. Exactly. Okay, so continuing here, you must look for your university. As Joelkis mentioned, each university has their own password, so make sure to ask either your student ambassador or here on the chat, and either Karen or Jelixa will tell you which is your code. I won't say it directly on the video since it will be shared and institutions are, member institutions each have one. So in my case, I am from the University of Puerto Rico. Once I click my university, they're in alphabetical order, so they're easier to find. Here you will have to put your code. I put my institution code. Again, remember to ask on the chat if you don't know yours, just to make sure. It's a one-time login. If you don't log in for like two or three months, then it'll ask again. But other than that, it's very foolproof. You can just store it on your phone. Okay, so here are the two main databases I will be talking to you about. As I mentioned, we will begin with the Peterson's test prep. In here, you will have to log into your account or create an account. To create an account, it's fairly easy. You can just click here in new user sign up and it's name, last name, your email, a user and password and a secret word. So let, let me, me in, the, uh, in, my, in the meantime, you are logging in. Let me introduce, uh, uh, let me interrupt. And I know that probably some of you ha, uh, didn't find, find, are not going to find the name of your institution in the list in order to put the code. Is that it ha, that happened? That means that probably your institution is not a member of Heads Jet or what it used to be, and it's not their membership are not active. So if you happen to have that problem, uh, please uh, uh, let us know by email or put in the chat, my, my institution name doesn't appear and we will give you uh, the code of the HEADS account that is a generic account that we have for these cases. In the meantime, your institution will go bad or your institution decides to, uh, to join us, but we don't want anyone to uh, Bella keep into using this service. So if you don't find the name of your institution, please I don't find uh, my institution name. And then we will give you the code. And instead of looking on the name, you will go and click on heads in either on their US or on their Puerto Rico and international heads. And then click there and put the code that we will be providing you in the meantime. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So once you enter the testing area of uh, Pearson's, you can either look for ways to improve your scores, find a school, explore careers, or vocational test. Explore careers will be more explained in the other section of this webinar, but just in case you also have the resource here. So to improve your scores, it can either be from high school to college prep, to grad school. I'll be focusing on grad school, but in college prep, you actually have practice for the ACT, the P PSAT, and the SAT. So just in case you have that available, but since many of us are already in university level and we wanna prepare for grad school, here are the options we have available. We have the GMAT, the GRE, the LSAT, which is for law school, the MCAT for medical school, and the mat. So if, for example, I want to prepare for the LSAT, I will just click here and it will bring me a little bit of what the LSAT is, other ad articles that might help me in my st study progress. And let's jump into practice. Once you access the page, you will see what you're studying here, which is for the LSAT, LSAT exam prep. You can see the content over here, which is the practice available for the LSAT. You have two tests, which are divided by each subsection as marked here by the check marks are the ones that I have actually practiced. So if I want to review either of these, I will just go to grades. And here I will see how I did on this 
practices. This is how many I got right on what percentage I am. And you can see the statistics. I don't know if you're seeing that on your screen, but you see the statistics on how you did on that test. But to see what you guys want to see is what are you practicing? So for example, let's say that today I choose to practice reading comprehension. So for reading comprehension, you will be given the summary of the quiz details, how much time you have, how many allows you have, and to begin the quiz. Of course, I'm not gonna do the quiz per se. This, you will do it with when you're calm, collected, and you studied. I haven't read any or studied any for the LSAT, so let's just start choosing random here. You, as you see in this part, you have the top question, which is a, a, a section reading. Afterwards, you have to answer based on those sections. So just answer a few. And if I choose, I'm not ready to for the page two, I just wanna skip to page four. You can do it with the side menu over here. Let's answer just a few over here. And I choose to be done. I will just submit my quiz. It will obviously tell me like, hey, you have 14 unanswered questions. Are you sure you want to submit it? But since it's for practice and to show you guys, I really don't mind. I can just go back to quiz and complete a few. Let's just say I wanted to answer number nine and 10 over here. And now I'm sure I want to submit my quiz. Here, it will tell you a detailed answer of which ones you got correct, incorrect, and why you got them per se. Here, first one, I got, them, I got it correct. But even so, it will explain to me why it's correct. Part of the learning progress is not learning from your mistakes, but also reminding yourself why if you understood the material, or in my case, if it was a lucky guess. So I can just review over here why that one is correct and why the other answers are incorrect. Here, uh, I chose A, which is incorrect. The right answer was E. And here, it will explain to me why E is the correct answer. And it will do it for all of the answers you have. And for example, I didn't answer this one, but it still will tell me which one was the correct answer and why it's the correct answer. So just because you skipped one or you forgot or you just didn't know and didn't want to guess, it will explain to you which one is the correct. So I got two correct out of 27, which meant I am in the 7.41% on my test. I don't think that's very good, but this is just for demonstration for you guys. So over here, it will tell me my class average, what is what normal people achieve on this test, and my score compared to the others, and what percentage I am with the users. So let's just go back to my content. As you will see that now my test has been checked as I did it. And once I go to grades, I can see how well I did over here. You can also check on your class progress, how well you've been doing so you can monitor if you're improving, if you're not improving as much as you want, how many grades you have received, oh, how many topics I have visited, my amount of visits, how much time I've spent. So you can start a good study habit of, okay, I'm gonna spend two hours in this area and you can monitor, I've been spending too much time or too little time, I need to reorganize myself. And that is for the LSAT. Let me take you back and show you the MCAT. It's basically the same but just so you see that there are various ways. Again, for the MCAT, you have a bit of what the MCAT is, other resources. This link will actually take you to the place where you separate your MCAT, where you register for the MCAT, and guides and tips and everything you need. I'm talking of experience. I am currently repeating my MCAT, so I've, all, I've used these tools. I've just added new accounts to get more practice. So for example, here, let's see the content. For the MCAT, you have 
three tests, if I am not mistaken, yes. And again, divided by each subsection that you have in the actual MCAT, you can go again to the class progress and you will see how many grades I've received, the topics I visited, how much time I've spent in each one. And if you can either choose to, in any of the practice tests, you can choose to go by topic, as in I'm gonna just do test one, test three, and then test two, or you can get started and launch the unit and it will give it to you in order. So, I hey, Maris, I uh, interruption. Uh, since you already took the NCAT, since you are planning to enter medical school, do how do you compare this with the uh, uh, the real one, the real? Test? Okay, so so for the NCAT, the the most important thing is practice. So everything you'll see on the MCAT, it's already, you've already learned it throughout your years in college. So having this extra practice, it's either 25 questions per test, per three tests. It's a lot of extra work that will help you get better results in the end. Because the MCAT, it's not like if you know the material, it's to see if you can apply it or it's not directly like, oh, what does the mitochondria do in your system? It's like, oh, if the mitochondria doesn't work, what will happen to your nervous system? So you have to have that previous knowledge and these questions help you internalize and analyze a little bit further. And in comparison with the questions in the real test, are the, uh, I mean, not the same, but similar, the same Yeah, parts. they have, a, yeah, they have the similar, uh, target Wording. question or asked like they will go you will see them similar the type of question it's not directly if it's a b or c or it's not easy questions what you will find here in the practice there are challenging questions that will help you prepare for the actual test so you think that is very similar to the real experience yeah the only difference in comparison to what you see here it's the format it's a little different uh, than what you see on the actual test, like how the questions are ordered or where to skip from questions. But other than that, it's basically the same. Okay, excellent, thank you. So, uh, and remember that you also can have the, in, not in the NCAT, but in others uh, tests, uh, like the LSAT, if you wanna go back and show that they only, they not only have the, the test, so you can practice, but they also, you can also can download the ebook. I don't know if you uh, show it before because I was uh, answering some, some questions in the chat. Yeah, I was looking for the, to show where to download it, but I it didn't show, appear to me on my computer. Me but my computer's is. kind of been a little bit glitchy, so I don't, I, it's my computer. Ah, probably. it's a, la, last, uh, in the article, checking the article. Here, as I mentioned, it will tell ah. you to where to study. Okay. And these are the study tips. Okay, okay. How but to some, prepare. Some of them have the, 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 the LSAT test. Exactly. Okay. And aside from the uh, tests you have available here, which are the ones I mentioned, if you go to vocational test prep and medical and nursing, you will have the test for the DAT, see the NCLEX and, and, the, and the EMT exams. Again, they are fairly similar. It will just bring you to a page where you will see the dental test and how much you have to study and so on and so on. Also on this page, you will find the graduate school and scholarship search. So right now, Puerto Rico is not been added to the filters but you can just do the uh, the rest of the filters to find your scholarship search or your graduate school search and then just see which ones uh, apply to to us for here here it's the here is the graduate school search and just a little bit underneath is the scholarship search mm -hmm. here but you choose what type of award what type of grade level and what uh, type of uh, keyword you want to look for. If I want to look for law student uh, scholarships or medical school or such, 
I can filter the results by among type, gender, study type, or clear all filters. So if I want to go for medicine, graduate, here are the, one of the, the scholarships I could apply to. Here's the deadline, the amount awarded. And if I click on it, it will tell me all the details, how much, how many days I have left to apply, what I'll need to apply. In this case, it's to fill out the application form and the essay, how much I could be awarded, the eligibility requirements, how to apply, and the contact info in case you have any doubts or questions. And again, this is a scholarship and graduate. If I choose to look for any other type, I can look for undergraduate undergraduate only and it's a grant in let's say math here are the three scholarships that could apply to me so there's a very big range to apply from to search for in either what type of great mm -hmm. type of scholarship and what type of a scholarship yes. we're looking for. And, and can you show where is the, that we do, in the filters in the left is where uh, Puerto Rico doesn't appear, but we already Here. request there. We in already the state we're studying, you uh -huh. won't find Puerto Rico. Sad. Well, you, you may be find it very soon because we already noticed that because they just redesigned this uh, database and they add new features and different new tools. Uh, so uh, they are working on that. So uh, definitely you will be probably seen in the few, we hope in the next week, but still you can continue. You don't have to put any filter there. So you can continue looking for different grants or different types of awards uh, on, on the filters, uh, general filters that he might already showed you. Exactly. So any questions till now, you can add, ask them in the chat and they'll let me know or they will answer to you directly via direct message. So for now, that is all we have in the test prep. Let's jump back. I'm jumping back to the main okay. menu over here. Can to you go back to two heads? Yeah. Because uh, someone asked me uh, uh, for what is the code uh, for? And probably that that, pers that participant uh, login after you mentioned where to put the code. So remember, step one. Okay, step one, is we go to heads.org, our main page. Step two, click on the virtual plaza menu. Look for the student placita option. Step three, look for either the test prep, which I just explained, or the career prep, which is where we're going now. Again, you have the video tutorials in English and in Spanish if you forget how to do any of the stuff I'm um, telling you guys about. Next, you look for your university. Here is where you click if your institution still doesn't have, a, it's not shown here, and it's the universal password that jo 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 what he's mentioned. So in my case, University of Puerto Rico, but since I previously logged in, it won't ask for me, but just before I see this page, it will ask for me for my institutional code, which is the one that uh, Joel is referring to, and each institution has their own. So again, if you have any doubts, which one is yours, ask your student ambassador, or right now in the chat and continue with this adventure. And Maris. Yes. Good afternoon, Hilmaris. Good afternoon. One question uh, from W. Ortiz. Are these tests safe so that we can compare our answers later? later. Yeah. yeah, you can come back and review your results. As I mentioned, like after the test, you will see which ones you get right, which ones you get correct. Okay incorrect and correct and their answers so yes you can actually go back and the grade section and just reread them and repractice all of them thank you no problem that's what i'm here for so moving on then to the career prep this is more in entering hey. the workforce yeah no no okay any other question please use the chat 
<laughs> so we can definitely interrupt him, Mari, to go back or whatever you wanted to want us to clarify. Remember, you have one hour uh, right now, 20 minutes to uh, clarify all your doubts. So go Good. ahead. Mari. So this side of the Pearson, Pearson's career prep, it's more once you're entering that workforce or spreading your wings after college or starting to work. So here you will find uh, ha tools on how to create your resume, how to find a career, the career college search, and some advice. Again, here you need to register or log in. To register, easy, just name, last name, and email, user, and password. Let me log in into mine real quick. Yes, and in the meantime, she's logging. Remember that if you lose your user and, and password, remember that once you are in the database, we don't have control and we don't keep a record of your user password. We only can give you the code to enter to the database. So please, if you, when you do the, your account, please uh, save in a, 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 a the user and password in a safe place so you don't lose it so you can log in and also some computers almost all computers uh you can save it so you, every time you log in recognize you and you don't have to put one you know all over again the user and the password but please uh a, and the importance of doing the account is that everything that you look there and everything you do a, it is on the record so you don't have to start from scratch again so go ahead and and let me uh, say that if you feel more comfortable uh you can uh, make the questions in spanish in the chat and we definitely will translate to il mario il mari is from puerto rico so she she can also explain in, in spanish as well okay go ahead i'm bilingual i understand english and spanish so whichever you feel more comfortable i will just translate in english for the purpose of the webinar so if you ever forget your password, you can actually reset it. I'm having trouble with mine. That's why I, you saw me changing passwords over there. But just in case, if you remember your email or your user, you can just click on, uh, on resetting your password and all your information will still be here. So if I want to create a resume, you will just click here on create and it will bring you a few options available. So for example, here I prepared this one, importing my own curriculum vitae. So uh, you will see a little bit messy because once you import it, it won't uh, directly tell you where it goes. It's up to you then to fix, okay. So my skills over here, it got uh, rolled a bit, the, the, the description of each one, or here it imported some points that it didn't go, but it's easier to import it and edit it here into a more formal way instead of having it just in a PDF in Word. So it's easier. Mine, I just imported it from my PDF and now it's pretty, it has my name, it has color, and it's up to me now just to see it and reorganize, see what I'm missing, what I should add here. For example, in mine, I just put, um, the class and where I did it and I didn't put what position I was in. So that way you know, okay, what I'm lacking in my own curriculum vitae on your resume. In my case, this is a uh, curriculum vitae, but otherwise you can also just start from zero. This is- Let me, let me clarify that if you have experienced the career transition, the prior databases, the it was just a template that you fill out and just one format of the resume yeah, that you can download it only one form. Now in this new redesign, Peterson Career Prep, they have they have added a lot of different uh, features like uh, what we Mari are showing you, uh, is showing you, excuse me, and you may see that now you can do a lot of different things, different templates. You can also upload it in, in your uh, LinkedIn or social media or, or whatever. You can do a website from your curriculum vitae or, or from your resume, everything. And you can have extra things who is watching it. So a lot of different things. So go ahead, Imani. Exactly. You here is one of the basic templates that it brings you and it's already filled out with an example. 
So if I decide to sit down and do my first resume ever, I know, okay, well, my name goes here. I need to fill this out with where I live, my phone number, my, my contact info. Okay, so I first start with my professional experience and my education, my summary, but you can also add sections important or you can move them just see what's important to you how to roll it for example i want the education first then the summary you can change the template if you don't like that one that is the first one that it brings to you i would just use this template and it changes all i had in my in my previous one to this format so you don't have to like, oh, I gotta start now from the beginning since I changed the template. No. From here, you can share it in the what type it is. If I want it public or in public, right now it's unlisted, but I'll show you why it's unlisted a little bit sooner, a little bit later, my bad. And if you wanna download it as a PDF or a Word, and the listed, public or unpublic or private in this case, it's because you can see the stats on who has checked your CV or curriculum, your CV or your resume, see how many people have visited or downloaded or has, have seen it in the course of different time. In my case, since they're all private because they're all just examples for you guys, they, they aren't seen, so people aren't really checking out my stats. In my dashboard here, you can create a resume or CV, which are all these options. You can create a cover letter or even a website. So any questions with the resume maker, builder, and CV? No? I don't see any questions, so you can go on. Okay, so let me just go back. Remember that you can you can put the questions in Spanish. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, Hilmaris. Yeah. The Pearson Prep. Tiene disponible practice para el NCE National Counselor eh, exam. El NCLEX, yes. No, 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 no. That has NCLEX. National Counselor exam. Ese hay que buscarlo, porque ese, eh, this test uh, is the first time we hear it. So, yeah. it's a lot of different tests. We invite you now that you have uh, Wanda, I think it's your name, uh, or this. Well, I don't know what it all stands for, but uh, I invite you now that you have the code. I invite you to go. Is that a, if this is a graduate test, you know that you have to look in graduate test. If not, uh, go in the other area of vocational test and see if you can find it there. If you don't find it there, it's because probably Gail, that is the one who provides this database, doesn't have any liaison or agreement with this, uh, the one who, who provides these things. Okay, but let us know if you don't find it to see if they are planning to add these things, okay? So thank you so much. All right, so just so you guys know, when you click on the create a resume, it will open a new tab. So if you want to go back to the main career prep uh, area, you have to change back on the tabs. So we have already visited the creator resume. Now to find a career, again, it will open a new tab. Here you will have to do certain assessments based on, on a way to find uh, different career options. Your assessments are a series of quizzes that you just have to do relax. It's don't lie on the test because this is more like personality wise, how you are as a person, how you work in a work environment or all these different aspects that will help the program find out which careers are better suited for you. Since I couldn't log into my other account, I have already taken all the tests and show and show you which careers are the best. They will divide it between teaching, health, and just bring you pros uh, prospective um, careers. But you can do the job search and other tools over here, which is how to find out about the resumes, the cover letters, and the networking. And 
if you want to start from the beginning, you can just click on my journey over here and you start doing the self-discovery assessment and it will take you all the way onto how to find your career. So it's a whole process, a whole learning process that they have made easy for you guys over here. And the last part of the of this uh, side of the career uh, career prep, it's the advice area, which is different. Uh, yeah. How do you say it? Like frequently asked questions or that you ha might have in this process of entering the work life, for example, what if I now choose to change my career? After all this time studying, being a pre-med student, I realize I don't want it. I want to be an engineer. How do I prep for that? So here are a series of tutorials of different issues or maybe worries that you have that can actually help you reorganize and restructure your ways. For example, if I'm starting my job search, this is my career on my web, my, i oh, sorry, my virtual career library tutorial. And this is what you will find in this tutorial. And you can just go evaluating different areas. Here you can skip to the next. Uh, they have extra forms or questionnaires that can help you through this process. So this area, it's mostly is so you don't feel alone or kind of overwhelmed with different things that might surge in this process of entering the work life or just preparing for work life. So let me just go over here. So any questions that you guys have on, the, on this side of the career prep? I'm so sad hey. I couldn't log into my real account so you could see the whole area of the the quiz the quizzes did already it, answered. Did it, did it allow you to to log in ah so you have to start uh, all over again yeah if you if you log in but oh god you Let didn't try and log be, in. Uh, try it again because the thing is that once you do this assessment that is super neat because uh, before in the pre, pre, prior uh, database that was the testing education reference center they only ask you about your interests and that's it uh, and your skills and then give you a report but now they added other different areas like your values your preference when you are ready to work with if you prefer to work alone if you prefer to work uh, with with a, a team you know different uh, preference and and important criteria in order to when you look for a job or when you look for careers it give you a very uh, align a, a detailed report and align to your uh, preferences so it's very important that you do this uh the, the more accurate possible so when you either look information about careers or looking for an internship or looking for a for a, for a job the database uh, will look for your profile and will compare the requirements either for the job or the career or the internship and will let you know oh this one is kind of aligned or more aligned and then you know that you will be will feel that Bella, this job opportunity will be perfect for you or at least more suitable for you okay so it's very important uh, so you can do this uh, assessment uh, that have uh, several questions but are very useful at the end hey uh, i see that you're yeah probably you're having problem with that yeah, my this original account. Yeah, it won't okay. load my original password, so I'm trying to change it. Okay. It See, sometimes, it. sometimes kind of depending on the cookies of your computer, it can be uh, kind of tricky. Uh, yeah. But uh, anyway, if you try it again. If not, go there so they know exactly where to look for the assessment. Okay. Let um, me go back then to my other account
here for the assessment that Joel Keys was mentioning. Mm -hmm. You can either go through those journey on self-discovery or just go skip to the self-assessment. You start your journey, you start your assessment, mm -hmm. and it's a series of questions over here. And once you go answering them, you can see on the top on how your answers are how many you have already answered, how many you're missing. Obviously, I am filling this out as out random, but when you do it, try to do it as both as honest and sure as yourself as you are. Mm -hmm. So this, this um, questionnaires go from, your how how you are as a person or things that you might like for example i might strongly like examining blood samples using a microscope how the market a new line of clothing to develop and predict the weather so some questions might guide you to like okay so this is this might be how to be a, a weatherman or per se this is my main my main results in in order to which they appear for example the my interest assessment is realistic that is what i should be focused then next would be to invest investigative artistic social enterprising conventional and what i can do with these results over here mm -hmm. so let me see if i can find already the careers no once you do, you can either retake it if you're unsure, like, um, I don't think I did my best or I didn't answer completely truthfully. Mm -hmm. Or you can move into the next assessment, which are your values. Uh, here you will be, you'll see the assessments, the interests, values, your personality and workplace reference. We have some questions that will help you guide through this. And if you need help to see the view, the full worksheet, and you can actually afterwards like print them if you're more of a ver visual person with paper mm -hmm. instead, of, instead of technology per se. But it doesn't allow you to go to jobs, to the job tab. Check it out because I think I you to need to take it. Yeah. Assessment. Before uh, in the other one, wasn't that, you don't need to do that in order to look for a job, but now it's important that you do this assessment and, and keep it a, a, a well the 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 user and password a, a well so you can log in and because with that then you can do the the the, the, the either the career information a search or the job and when Marie is doing it uh, as soon as Bella, Possible so because we definitely want to show you in the last few minutes we have a, any other question in the meantime uh, Hilmaris uh, is finishing the assessment to, of course she's doing it uh, in, in super eh, eh, como se dice? Rapido, eh, fast but you should read every area and and say it and as you may see it's very cool because uh it, it, it give you if you miss out an option it will tell you yes. hey you're missing this we can't evaluate we... completely without this exactly and also you may see that the questions are not the same have different you know it's, it's, it's not that boring like other questionnaires that is just the same type of question uh as soon as she finished uh, then uh-huh but you can see it's super cool and it's easy to, to select but definitely and it has you little instructions just in case as my screen is all the way here it's telling you like hey you have more options over here and it won't let you move on to the next question unless you finish choosing exactly and she's almost finishing because we have four four in four parts first of all your personality second of all your preference when you at work is uh, the other one is uh, the values and the other one is uh, the work work uh, workplace preference values personality and interest 
high okay, school. So would be pretty now easy. that I'm done with my four quizzes, please don't do them at the speed light like I did. <laughs> no. So afterwards, you can just move on to explore career matches. So based on my questionnaire that I did very, very fast, then you can choose, you can see which ones are the best match for you. Here are, for example, the good ones. And if I'm kind of inclined towards law and public safety and I did good, I had 21 careers, 21 good careers, 18 strong careers, I can just view the careers available for me. Mm -hmm. For example, here are the, op the good matches and strong matches I have. So I can be a good police identification and records officer. What is that? I have no clue. <laughs> I've never heard of that. So you can just click on it and it will tell you everything you need to know about this career. It will tell you the programs available, the abilities that you need or have, the knowledge that you'll gain and that you require, skills that you need. Here it will tell you the salary, uh, what you need, uh, like requirements. For example, in this case, you need an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree. And you can just skip straight to, I'm in love with this profession, I'm gonna just find a job towards this. So all of these, but if you uh, didn't like it as much, you can just go back and maybe I want to be a transit railroad police. Here again, it will tell you your salary, how, what I would be doing on the job, uh, what I need uh, as a prerequisite to find a job. And you actually have little videos. I won't put them on because otherwise you won't hear me then. But it has videos of showing how life in the job is. So it's a very complete guide to of work and careers that will help definitely help you visualize more what you want. If I didn't like public safety, I can just move to a new career, um, going to finance. Again, it will bring you first the strong matches, the areas. Here, it will bring you then the good matches. And all of them, it's just and fair matches. So you can see by the color, it changes a, a little bit to guide you with more visually. Mm -hmm. So all of this, after you do the quizzes and after you sit down and anal analyze your results, it's just to sit down calmly and analyze, okay, what now based on my results? What do I like from what it's brought to me? What would I like to analyze? And I didn't mention it, but here you have some filters. For example, if you don't have a a GED. If, I'm sorry, if you only have a GED, well, you can just click here and it will bring you which careers only uh, accept a GED or require it because why would I look for a job that requires a bachelor's degree if I still haven't finished mine. So this will help you guide through this uh, list of results that the quiz brings you. Y let me clarify that the salary <laughs> area is based on US. Yeah. So in Puerto Rico, you know that salaries are not that high. This is just a guide. Yeah. And maybe if you're considering then to move to the United States to fulfill this career. But other than that, that is it's just information. USA. You use you, you in the salary, you know that you have to less uh you calculate uh, like 20% less. But yeah. anyway, can you go now? Now you can go to job yeah. because I know in jobs you can show how to change uh, from uh, seat codes and also from uh, inter all the filters, uh, internships, you know? She's looking for nurse, uh, go ahead. So okay. I'm looking for nurse jobs in my area code. I'm from Trujillo Alto, so this is my area code. So it will bring me first, uh, these are ordered by relevance, relevancy, I'm sorry. So based on my results, it will bring me the jobs with these keywords or location that best match with my results. So right now, the best work option I have, it's a registered nurse in Fort Buchanan that was posted six days ago. So once you click, if you're interested in one of these jobs, it will take you directly to the Indeed page, which is an uh, um, 
a website for job searches. So it will bring you directly here where you can just apply directly and see what it entitles with the job, like the overview, the qualifications I need, and anything important, the inf information of the company. So all of this is very useful and it's based on your assessment quiz. So make sure that when you do the quizzes and all that, you be focused on you and be true to yourself because it will help you in the long run, not only sh choosing different careers, but when looking for jobs, it will take that into consideration. Any other questions that you guys And might... also, if you go back, it show the filters that show okay. Uh, not only the relevance in terms of your interest values and workplace references that mm -hmm. uh, are already in your profile of the assessment, but other filters are? Other filters are the distance of where you put or you are looking for. You can change the job title or the, if you want to work with a specific company and the type of job. If you want a part time, a full time, just internship or temporary or by contract. So for example, I want a full time and it's 15 miles from my zip code. So these are the ones that are still important for me. And again, you exactly. will see a good match, which ones are strong matches, fair matches. So mm -hmm. that is why they're organized by relevance or you can put them by date. Mm -hmm. So this job was posted one day ago. So you can have a better chance applying to it since it's fairly new. You don't have much competition per se. Mm -hmm. So you can use either of the sorting ways to bring the results. Okay, I see that we already passed uh, our five past two and the commitment was one hour. So uh, any other questions? Remember that uh, this database, you can go directly to Indeed and look for a job, but what this database does is that once you do the assessment, it's, gonna, it's going to align, align your profile to all the, either the careers or the jobs opportunities that definitely Indeed doesn't do that, do that for you. And also organize uh, the different opportunities uh, based on the filters that you click. Okay, and also uh, upload your resume if you already prepared mm -hmm. on the database. So please help us promote this uh, information. Feel free to share the code now that you have it uh, in the different uh, among your peers. Uh, if, you, if you have, for example, uh, a friend that doesn't go to your same institution, don't, don't, it's, not, it's okay, you can share your uh, uh, if, if, oh, oh, you can tell us to contact us to give him or uh, her uh, a code. And I still, I don't have a reply for, let me see who was the one who write me. Uh, eh, Ediberto Rodriguez, uh, he, he, I don't, I'm not sure if you asked me for the code, but I didn't get what was your institution. Please put the name of your institution so I can definitely uh, give you the code because I'm not sure it's Atena Scottish or which one. Is, uh, I, in I uh -huh. contacted Edilberto and I gave him the code. Ah, okay, perfect. That's why he didn't reply me. Good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, for any other questions, Himari, anything else that you want, you may want to add uh, to close this excellent presentation? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy it and it's easier to navigate now because maybe the first time you access it, it's kind of endearing, seeing a lot of uh, menus and a lot of questions, but all of this is very useful. It's just to sit down calmly one day, hopefully once the semester ends and you know, less work, you can just sit calmly and analyze what I've just showed you. You, as uh, Juelkis mentioned, this webinar will be recorded so you can just go back if you have any questions or you forgot any details, or you can just contact directly the head's offices if you want more information or you can access the video tutorials, the printed guides. You have a lot of ways to access them and I really hope that you guys find them as useful as I did and they have helped me through my years in college. So hopefully they will do the same for you guys. 
Exactly. I put in the chat again the email info at heads.org. Remember that we are working remotely, so probably in the office uh, nobody will answer, but if the voicemail will give you my direct uh, uh, cellular mobile, well, uh, my phone, if you can text me or, or uh, let me write it uh, here, is uh, my phone is 787-616-3201. If you need anything, you can text there because sometimes I'm in, in, in between meetings and I cannot call, then I reply you or call you back right away, but with the text will be easier. And uh, please remember to put the institution name so we can go ahead and look in the list and give you the code if that is, it is the code that you're looking for. And um, please uh, remember that you can share this with anyone, uh, your family, your friends, and especially your peers are your institutions. And at the, at the end, we have more than uh, 40 at one time. Uh, if you need the certificate, remember that you need to send an email at info at heads.org again with the name, your name, your full name, the title of the webinar or at least the date of the webinar it's because we have several and we don't want to miss up and, and, and send you the incorrect uh, uh, certificate. And please allow us two weeks to receive the webinar because we give seven days to receive all the emails and then mm -hmm. and the next week, then we will prepare the list and then we do send the certificates, okay? Uh, after two weeks, if you don't receive the certificate, then feel free to follow up with us because sometimes, you know, the emails can uh, uh, mess up in, in our junk or whatever. Thank you again. Have a wonderful weekend. Please let us know. Follow us in the uh, social media account. We will be putting this recording in the same page you register, remember. Uh, and also we will announce it when the recording is ready in our social media. And remember to join us. Uh, if you speak Spanish, uh, Bella, uh, in, um, for the next webinar that will be uh, next uh, May 7, next Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern time, okay? So thank you so much, uh, Hilmari, thank you so much for your time and your excellent presentation. Here you will see uh, EST, yeah, Eastern time is the time, hora de Puerto Rico, a, revisando mi proyecto de vida, ser, hacer y tener. Así que, thank you so much. Anything else, you feel free to contact us via email, via text, anything, okay? We are here to serve you and we hope that uh, we will continue this webinar so you can continue knowing all the different services that are available for you. And remember that we just showed you today these two databases, but in the Student Placita, you have other services that are open because we're paid with federal money, so are open to everyone. And you can click on them and you can uh, benefit from them. These two, we emphasize because they have a code and are Evela, and you need to know the code in order to access it. Uh, but uh, the other two, you can go there and benefit from all of them, okay? So thank you so much. Anything else, Karen, Jelitza, Stephanie, Hilmaris, that you may want to add? This is the moment. If not, we can say goodbye. We're fine? All right. But thank you so much. Have a nice weekend. And remember to use your mask and protect yourself. Stay safe. You know, Take Until you the next, nos vemos la semana próxima, el próximo viernes a las 10 de la mañana. Eso es así. Uh, okay, Re just register to receive the link because it's totally free of charge. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you, Maris, again.